Hello guys and welcome to creating a contact page by WA courses. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a contact page for any WordPress website. So with the introduction out of the way, let's get started with the video. So the first thing we need for our contact us page is a contact form plugin. And on WordPress, there are various different ones. We have WP forms, we have contact form seven. Uh, so there are a lot of different form plugins, but for this tutorial, we're going to be using Ninja forms. The reason we're using Ninja forms is because Ninja forms is really, really easy to use and completely free. So in order to add Ninja forms, we'll go over to plugins, click on add new and on the repo section here. We'll just type in ninja form ninja form and we should get this as one of the search results so this one over here so i'm just going to click on install and once that's done and click on activate okay so once the ninja form plugin is activated so all you have to do is you're going to find it at the left hand side here. So I'm just going to click on dashboard and it should take us to the dashboard of Ninja Forms. Okay. So by default, when you install the plugin, you're going to create one contact form here automatically, but we're not going to be using this. Just click on add new and you're going to see different templates here. So they have a form for contact us, collect feedback and some other ones here. Uh, we're interested in this one, so I'll click on this and it's gonna copy the template into the form builder itself. So, this is the form we have name, email, and message. So, this is how a normal contact form is. Um, if you want to add an extra field, just click on this plus sign here, and you're gonna see some extra fields here. So, you could add um, last name and first name. So, to add a new field or you have to do is drag and drop so once you drag and drop this in here automatically it's going to be added okay uh, if you click on this knob icon here it's going to give you an option to change the label and uh, decide if you want this to be a required field or not so if it's a required field it means whenever somebody types into it on the front end uh, Whenever somebody tries to ignore this field on the front end, the submit button is not going to work. Okay, so that's what that's for. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this. So I'll hover over this and click on the delete. So we have first name, last name, email and message. Uh, so once you're happy with this, uh, we just have to do one more thing. We'll go over to advanced, click on display settings and disable form title. So this title here is not going to be displayed on any any page when we embed this okay if you go over to email actions you can select the, a list of things that you want to uh to occur when somebody submit uh submit data into the form itself so the first one here is store submission so by default ninja form stores all submission also sends an email confirmation an email notification and a success message so if you want to change the success message uh, so when somebody submits data to the contact form you can just click on this knob and change this here so by default it says form submitted successfully so this is a normal trend for most contact for plugins you're going to find all the settings there just slightly different variations okay so once you don't everything just click on publish and once you click on publish just click on this link icon and you're going to see this uh short code here so this is what we're actually going to be using for our contact form so i'm just going to click on copy done and now we can go back to Okay, I'm just going to publish this first. Then we can go back to our dashboard. And now I'm going to now we're going to create the actual page itself. So I'll go over to pages, click on add new, and we're going to go ahead and create the contact form. So I'm just going to type in contact us. Okay, so 
every contact form out there basically has um, an email address and a phone number then you have a form so that's the default or uh, that's the most common layout so we're just going to do that quickly I'll click on the plus sign and i'll search for column okay so i'm just going to look for add a uh, two column um, container here and the first one i'm going to add a paragraph and i'm just going to type in my um, email address and for the second one I'm gonna type in a phone number okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine all right so once you have these two diff um, details added um, what's left is just the form so we're uh, typing short code over here so we just need to add in a short code widget and paste in the code we got from ninja forms so once you have this let's preview this and see how it looks on desktop all right so as you can see we have the name we added the email we added the phone number followed by the followed by the form itself okay so this is how a normal or average looking contact form looks like um, you can add more information to this so you could add like a heading here for this phone number like our phone numbers add multiple phone numbers our email address um, you could add a google map you could add contact you can add address you can add an address so there are a lot of things you can do to make the contact form more better but by, more better but by default this should work perfectly okay so like i said there are other plugins out there for forms you can use contact form 7 you can use repeat forms it doesn't really matter all you just need to do is grab the short code and add it to your page okay so that's basically everything for contact us page i hope you guys found this video useful and i'll see you guys in the next one